Hi everyone. So let's continue the discussion of ray optics. So we are we have discussed uh, about plane mirror image for formation and the basics of uh, uh, like basics of ray optics, etc. So I would like to talk to you about uh, like what are the properties of image formed by a plane mirror. So in the last class we have seen what is the image like how the image formation by a plane mirror. Well, let's talk about the characteristics of image formed by a plane mirror. First one, the image is actually virtual, erect, and laterally inward. Laterally inward. So, what is the meaning of virtual? Real image and virtual image. Just opposite of virtual, that is real image. What is the meaning of virtual? So I will explain in detail in the next. Okay. So what is the meaning of real and virtual? So let it be that. Let it be there in your mind that this question. What is a real and virtual? And what is the meaning of erect? Erect means that image is actually in the same as an image. Like this is erect. So what is the opposite? Inward. Like this. This is the object. How exactly the object is? For example, I am looking at the plane mirror. So how? What, what would I see? That I am. Myself, right? If it, if it is inverted, means I will be like this. So I can't show that. Okay, it will be like that. Okay. So that is what is erect and uh, inverted. But our image is erect. Okay, inverted. Inverted. This is erect. Next is laterally inverted. What is the meaning of that? Laterally inverted. Which means that is. Look at this. When you when you uh, like, for example, I am looking at uh, my top. Or this is a mirror. Okay, suppose suppose this is a mirror. So if I if I keep it like this, I will see the image like this. So uh, for example, this is my image and this is my hand. So if if I if I keep it like this, then it will be like this, right? Because I have shown image like this and I will get an image like this. Sorry, I have given an object like this, I will get an image like this. That is meaning laterally inverted. So that we say that mirror image. It is exactly the mirror image. Mirror image means, for example, if I show this one to you, I mean, on the mirror, what would you see? Like on the mirror, you would see something like this. I mean, the opposite of that. That is what is laterally inverted. I think you got it. So we will see many examples of laterally inverted and all. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay. So that is the first property. Second one, the size of the image. Size of the image is equal to the size of the object. Size of the image is exactly equal to the size of the object. That is the another important property. But in the coming mirrors, like we will discuss about convex concave mirrors in the coming uh, videos, so you you would realize that you would get to know that these images, I mean, in the case of concave and convex mirrors, the image size of the image and size of the objects are not equal. But in the, in the case of plane mirror. You all know that you will see like exactly like that. You must have seen uh, in some museums and all like many other kind of mirrors. So when you look at the mirror, uh, it, it would look like plain mirror, but you would see the image which is like bigger than your uh, your own image, and or might be like a smaller one or uh, I mean, differently oriented like that. So you must have done this in some festivals or museums, etc. So. That thing is actually, uh, or in science fairs, okay. So that thing is actually, it is not a plane mirror, okay. There are different types of mirrors, there are different shapes of mirrors, etc. So you are not, you are not, uh, I mean, you should not get confused about. Uh, you are not supposed to get confused about that. That is not plane mirror. So plane mirror, the absolute plane mirror will always give us the exact image, okay. The object is the uh, image will be exact size, same size. And then, uh, what about the next one? The object distance is equal to image distance, which means suppose this is a mirror. You consider this is a mirror, and here is one object. Look at this. Here is one object. And what is the object distance? This is what is the object distance. What about the image distance? So it will be exactly same as object. This is the object distance we represent by the letter U. Object.
selective distance, we will classify the vector u and we will discuss u a lot of times and then what about image distance? This is what is image distance, v. Okay. So object distance, image distance, u and v. So they are exactly similar. So u is equal to v. In the case of plane here. Okay. And now I want to, I want to discuss something with you. That is, yeah, let's say fourth one. I'll write it here. Okay. So one second. So then, there are two mirrors, let's say uh, This is one, two mirrors are there This is mirror one and then mirror two So I'll say this is mirror two and this is mirror one There are two mirrors, so which are like we be placed at an angle theta Okay, so how it would be? It will be like this. For example, this is the mirror, this is one mirror and the second mirror, it is like this. Okay, they are, they are placed at an angle theta. So that is a one, one important thing that you, you gotta keep in your mind. So then, then the like number of images form, like there are number of images form in between that. So you must have experience instead. Like for example, when you go to the textile showroom or uh, shopping malls or all, you will you, you usually try dresses, right? You are going to Diwali is coming, so you are, you are going to buy some uh, dress or something. Okay, so you will you will try it, right? You know, uh, uh, textiles it, itself you will do that, or in shopping mall itself you will go to the trial room and you will uh, look at the, how it is, how does it look, like. That. So you know that in tri uh, trial room there will be like. All the three sides will be mirrors. All the three sides will be mirrors. Their mirrors are actually at an angle 90 degree. You, you remember, there are mirrors are at an angle 90 degree. Okay, so when you look at that mirror, how many images would you see? Think about it. So that is what I am going to discuss here. If two plane mirrors are at an angle, some angle, theta, then how, how many uh, images will form? So case number one, if 360 by theta, is even then the number of images n is equal to 360 by theta minus 1 number of images will be 360 divided by theta minus 1 and even if it is symmetrical or asymmetrical no matter okay, okay. even if it is symmetrical or asymmetrical or unsymmetrical okay so second case where should I write I think I should write here. Okay. Second case. If 360 by theta is in, is old, is an old number. What is it mean? Even number an old number. You know that, right? So 360 by theta is old. Then there are two cases. First one, symmetric. And you will have now what is the symmetric For example. Look at this, this is theta by 2, this is theta by 2. That is the angle is exactly similar. So when you stand here, okay, your place is actually symmetrical to the both, both of them. Symmetrical to both of them. So then the end number of images is equal to 360 by theta minus 1. Again, see, here also the even, if it is even, 360 by theta minus 1. If it is old, 360 by theta minus 1. Where are symmetrical? What about asymmetrical? What about asymmetrical? Or unsymmetrical, asymmetrical or unsymmetrical, which is n is equal to 360 by theta that much. 360 divided by theta. So I think it is very clear right now. Always remember like that. So this is like when it is symmetrical, when it is symmetric, sorry, when it is even 360 minus theta, 360 by theta minus 1, no matter what. Second one, when it is or there are two cases, if it is symmetrical, again 360 by theta minus 1. If it is uh, asymmetrical, unsymmetrical, then it is 360 by theta minus 1. Okay, no minus 1. So these are the important properties of plane mirrors. And you can expect a question, one or two questions uh, from this. And uh, nothing else. Okay.
So thank you everyone.